St. Paul's has long been considered one of the more deprived areas in Bristol, yet its community, built on Caribbean roots, is undoubtedly the strongest and most diverse in the city. The spirit of St. Paul's population is expressed through murals and paintings. A community curated array of art directly transmits the underlying message of cultural pride through a visual medium. There is no gate or paywall that restricts the public from viewing this incredible art, making it more accessible and therefore impactful. We were visiting St. Paul's as outsiders, yet we were warmly spoken to and kindly guided by the residents. To understand more about street art and St. Paul's community, we spoke to Trinidad-born artist Bandalay Iyapo. Well, St. Paul's is a kind of different kind of mix, you know? So, lots of times they say St. Paul's a black community and stuff like that, you know? And, but the black people as such is a sm smaller fraction to you know, the white community and who has lived here all that. And it has changed over the years. Right now it has changed like massively, yeah? It's not just St. Paul's here, there's a link between, you know, Montpellier, St. Paul's and Eastern, that kind of movement. And it always have that kind of movement between the young white artists who do street art, lots of street art. So it's always crisscrossing from Carnival to wherever it is. So and then the advent of Stokescroft when they started doing lots of Stokescroft. So this is a kind of middle ground St. Paul. So, so it really do, the street art really do belong to St. Paul's as such. But they know here is a place you can come and express, feel free to express where it is after express. Um, it's how the, the community was formed. It was after the, the war, what was left, the black community coming from Jamaica settled here with um, working class whites and had to build it from here. So it come from the heart and soul of these people. And from the outside, it was like, yeah, um, if you want to get something, you know, like much more relaxed in terms of being, and you know, um, you'll come down here because there'll be carnival for you to, you know, enjoy and you feel welcome, you know. So here I've been always like that, you know. So before, when I came here in 88, um, and you, you could spray from here going straight down the, you know, because of how the place was. It ended up being more controlled because um, the seven saints. So you have those big graffiti of the people who contributed to the community. So, you know. Yeah. Bandalay explained to us the role of street art in allowing people the freedom to express themselves. The art allows those not only within St. Paul's but also from neighbouring areas to empathise and connect with the art and history of the area. As Bandalay highlights, the St. Paul's community is one that has been created and developed by the area's own residents. Their willingness to create a community is conveyed through the artwork and when walking around St. Paul's, the heart and history of the area is very clear to see. For them to be able to come and do it within the so-called black community, the, you know, it was open to them. It was welcome, for, they was welcome to come and paint. It wasn't like, hey, you, why boy, what it is you're doing here? <laughs> it was like, you know, all right, yes, you come and do your thing. It's been, as I say, a big, History book for the young ones who walking about and they will see it every day at some point it registering in the head, you know, that who is this person and what it is they do. So they're playing a really, really important role in, you know, having it as street art here. To get a contrasting opinion, we spoke to Levan, a Somali born shopkeeper, about his experience as a St. Paul's resident. I think the arts is you know, related to some balls and it's great ideas, new people and new community together. It's, it's look great and it's look better now place to live in. It looks good. So you say that it's a positive thing for St. Paul's? Like? But definitely, yes. Last uh, few years it's changed to quite a um, much positive thing at the moment in the St. Paul's, yeah. Both Bandalay and Liban agree that St. Paul's is now a vibrantly artistic, racially inclusive and culturally welcoming place to live. However, Lee Ban did note that this was not so much the case when he arrived 15 years ago since he did not fit in with the Caribbean community and in a certain sense had to fend for himself. Overall, both Lee Ban and Bandalay thought that street art reflects the community's uniquely rich and warm identity, appreciating it as a form of accessible visual history as well as holding an aesthetic value that makes for a more pleasant quality of life. <laughs>